starting the day off right at Chick-fil-A, y'all. We missed the breakfast menu, but hey, we got our spicy chicken sandwiches and we are about ready to hit a new pond. Uh, if it's accessible, we're not sure. It looks semi-private, but then also public. There's some large catches on the Fish Brain app, so we're just gonna venture that way and see. We have a backup plan. If the pond is not open for business, there's one right next door that Devin's actually caught a five pounder at. Oh my gosh. That we're gonna hit as plan B. Torrance is gonna be meeting up with us and we are planning on getting on some bigs today. Rain is actually on the way. I mean, it, it is like, it looks like thunderstorms can happen at any minute all around us. So wish us luck, man. We're gonna try and get on a prefrontal bite. And we'll see you guys at the spot. It's pretty inviting to me. Dude, this place looks so legit. It's like a rock quarry and it's got trees, it's got rock, it's got reeds. Dude, it has lily pads and it's clear. Okay, I'm 20 minutes away. Okay, th yeah, there's a few bodies of water. Now we're glancing at the second one over here that looks juicy. Say All right, we'll see you shortly. Dude, look at this fresh flowing water in here. It doesn't look like this spot is uh, gonna be the where we drop them in at actually because there's not really a way to get them in here, but across the way, which we are going to drive over to, things look good. There's Torrance, he's having deja vu. He got stuck the other day in the VW. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's off-road, oh my God. Oh. I gotta get his reaction of what he thinks about this place, because it is crazy. <laughs> is this not some crazy stuff? <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I came here before. You did? Yeah, I was trying to get to the other rock quarry. Yeah. And I came here, I got lost. And I got stuck <laughs> in that mud over there. <laughs> yeah. Not today. <laughs> not today, Bubba, we ride. Oh. I think we should go this way. This ought to be fun getting back up later. Well, I doubt many people fish this. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Well, uh, y'all can't tell how steep this was, but that was fun. Uncharted territory. <laughs> Taking off these boots, putting on the flip flops. Gotta enjoy our time in the sun, fun in the sun. Okay. Devin got the rods, I got a lot of the tackle. We are in business, man. Chick fil A'd up, and what a crazy spot. Can't say we've taken the kayaks to a place like this before. Oh gosh. There was one catch I saw here, and it looked like a four pounder or four plus, and it was by this youngster who caught it. Uh, about this same time last year on Guggen Bates. So I was like, you know what? We're coming over here. There's too much left undiscovered of this place to only see one catch and it's a good fish and not give it a shot. So let's get in the water. That flip flop stuck, there we go. Bam, probably got nothing tied on that I should have tied on. Let's go find these fish. A lot of rock here, y'all. Looks like this ledge might just continue to be a steep grade. What I'm gonna do I think this is a good spot for a shaky head. Offshore structure. I'm going to tie on the new Slim Shake. And when I say the new one, I just mean the larger size. Blue baby color. Man, this, I, I, I probably need more packs. If this starts getting hit, I'm gonna wish I had more of these things. I don't throw shaky heads a lot. I'm just usually fishing little ponds with some grass, nothing crazy as far as the structure goes. But today's a little different. There we go, boys. Look at that treat. Oh my gosh. This is going to be good. Where do I start? All right, let's see what this is all about. What's hanging out on these trees right now? Here we go. Look at this little, little tree top right here. Little grass. Got him. Got him. All right. There we go. All right. You. First one in the trees, man. And it's not a dink. We feel good about that right there. 
And right as I hear some thunder, lightning and the thunder. That's what I'm talking about. All right, man, there we go. Mission success, trying some new waters. Didn't have a whole lot of confidence. I hit those trees, wasn't getting many bites. I think this guy might've actually bumped it twice. Decent sized little guy for uh, the first fish out of these waters, man. Got him on the old slim shake. Let's get him back in the water. We gotta get some more in those trees right over yonder. We'll see you, bud. Thank you so much. Yeah, that big old slim shake, man. Getting them. There you go, guys. Eight inch slim shake worm. And it was entirely uh, gone. It was in the water. I blame the shaky head. This thing, I don't know what it is. And I, honestly, I don't even know what brand this is. I've had this one for so long. But I think this wire right here is a little short. And also, uh, the, the twisty part is maybe not wide enough. So it doesn't get a good hold of your plastic. So when you set that hook, it kind of rips off. So this is not uh, the greatest shaky head design based on that first catch, but also all the catches I was getting on a crack and crawl last night using this little shaky head, um, just cause it's what I had on me, was not really doing the deal. And the hook's bending out. I mean, this thing, is, this thing has gotta be a cheap one we picked up a long time ago. So anyways, aside from that, losing the worm on the first catch, which is not a good thing, we are feeling good. There we go, just hit the bottom. Good depth here. I know what got that bass's attention because I thought he might have bit twice. What got his attention was for sure when I went over some stumps and created a lot of noise because after I felt that little resistance and got over those stumps, just like I did now, I just hit some more stumps, create some noise, some motion, some vibration in the water from bumping against all this stuff. That's probably when he took notice and grabbed a hold of it. I'm just in these twigs right now, dragging along the bottom right now which since this isn't a curly tail worm like a mondo worm, dragging along the bottom isn't the best. You kind of want to pop it. And uh, that trick worm's given a lot of action versus like a, a mondo worm, you can drag it along the bottom and that tail's going to do some work for you. Maybe, maybe, nope, that was a twig. Oh, yeah. number two, woo! They are in the trees, man. And we didn't lose the worm. Thank goodness, because I was a little guy. They are all fat and plump too. So whatever they're eating in here, they're eating good and there's gonna be some big ones. Sorry, sorry bud, I know, this thing is, I know. Sorry little buddy, get back in there and start eating right. Peace. All right, let's get back over to them trees, boy. They're in it. I just heard some thunder too on that. As soon as I reeled them in, man, I heard some thunder. So hopefully we can stick this out as long as possible because if the bite gets good, whoo! I, I, I wanna get a big one out of here. I know there's bigs, it's gonna be a good time. There we go. Yep, there we go. Come on. Oh, he had it. Gotcha. There we go. Out of there. There we go. There we go. Come on. Out of them lily pads. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. You gotta get out, and you're not a bad fish. Hey, hey. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. First fish for me, and that's not a bad one. Probably a good solid two and a half pounder. Check this guy out. He has gotten munched before. Look at that scar on him. But good first one for me out of here. Probably a good solid, I wanna say two, maybe a little over two pounds. Healthy fish, super chunky. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, Weston's coming over, we might get a little footage on the big camera and get him back in the water. I think we're starting to get on him. I believe Torrance has caught his first one also. So we're gonna go ahead, get him back in the water. Here we go. I wonder if anything would hit the frog out here midday. What we're gonna do now is beef things up a little bit. Devin and I, Bought these larger shaky heads. This is a half ounce and a five aught hook. Much more stout, thicker uh, gauged kind of swivel right there for your worm. And it just looks like, ow, it's sharp too. It just looks like it's gonna do a little bit more damage. Well, I gotta say first impressions are not good because uh, the paint is covering the entire eyelet. Looks delectable, let's get in the water. All right, Devin just grabbed some Mondo worms from me. Got our skinny can Yetis, keep our Red Bulls cool. You wanna call Torrance and see if he's gotten on him? Yeah. Whoa, something just blew up yep. in the pads. Dang, Devin just saw it blow up in the pads. All right, well, uh, I don't know, what should I do? 
Gotcha. There we go. Come here. Out of the pad. Oh no. I don't know. It's like, no. No, he's on. Oh, there he is. There you are. There you are. Come here. I don't know, you're barely hooked. Ah! There. <laughs> there we go. That was a little switched up. I had lost my uh, black and blue crack and crawl on that other fish and there was a natural bandudo, ban natural do do do. There was a natural bandito bug uh, underneath my seat. So I was like, screw it, I'll go ahead and toss it on. And that's what that little chunk came out of. He hit it a lot harder than he looks. All right, bud, thanks for playing. <laughs> Sweet! Frogfish, baby! <laughs> Top water blow-ups midday. That's what we want. <laughs> Hello. Hey, yo, Torrance. How's the fishing over there? You, you getting them on the frog too, midday? Oh, god dang, in the show. A good lesson for all you new vloggers too is after you release a fish and it splashes a little bit, or just periodically, always check your lens, man, because that water, it will start to dry and then it'll be a blob for the entire video. And yeah, it's not as pleasant of a view for your audience. Gotcha. Get me out of the reeds. No, no, I don't want to go in the reeds. No, no, no. No! Oh, come here. Come here. All right, third one for me. All right, I gotta get out of these reeds. I just know there's spiders on the way. Bye! Look at this place, stumps, grass. We got like an island over here. The place is nuts, so amazing. We gotta get a big. Torrance has already caught a couple three pluses, so I think this area might produce right here. We're gonna tear it apart real fast. Fish off this island. Look at this, if this ain't crazy. Life is complicated, but I found in you Something simple, I can wrap my head around it Be my lady, cause you Got him On the frog, alright Yes, white frog Alright, second top water blow up of the day Yes <laughs> There we go, y'all. That's probably a two. Uh, well, I know for sure it's a two. It's either a two and a quarter or a two and a half. These fish are all plump out here. This is so sick. And I'm fishing this mushy, gushy crap. Uh, was not expecting to get a decent one right then and there, but uh, hey, I will take it. That's actually my first bite in quite some time. So to get them on top water, major plus. Sweet. I have made landfall. It is time to go get the truck. Woo, what a day. Truck's nowhere to be seen. Dang, look at this whole one over here. Thick with grass. Whoa, there has to be fish in here. I'm seeing swirls, I'm looking around. I see turtles. Yeah, I see some fish swimming around. Oh man. All right, we're gonna have to come back and hit this one. We made it. All right. Ugh. We made it way over there. It doesn't seem like it, but this place is big. Light them up. Y'all, cheers. My goodness, it took us like 45 minutes just to load up. Look at what we had to deal with, man. We had to bring our stuff up. You guys can't see how steep it is. It pretty much just drops off. 
Anyways, it took us a long time just getting the kayaks out of here at a feels like temp of 100, literally so humid because of rain this morning and the potential for it. Look at it on the horizon. It is literally right here. But what an amazing spot, dude. Honestly, like Torrance, what was your take? Honestly, this is one of the coolest places I've ever kayaked. Like, I mean, like, look at it, dude, it's beautiful. I didn't know how we were gonna get the kayak in there. That was my biggest question, but we got it in there. We got on the water and we went to like, I went over there to those points and I wasn't expecting there to be like the vegetation that there was around the lily pads, but around the lily pads, it was really good. So this was definitely one of the coolest places we've dropped a kayak in. It was definitely a bit of a drive, but it was worth it. I have no idea how Weston found this place, but thanks for inviting me, man. Definitely one of my top 10 places I've kayaked and stay tuned for more. Hell yeah, man. We're getting out of here. If y'all aren't following Torrance already, go give him a follow. You recently hit 10K on Instagram, but what do you got these days? You, you still hovering around that? 11 k dude. And he's got his channel growing. He's uh, getting that thing started. I'll link his social down in the description. We are going to peace on out of here. Maybe hit a sunset bite for you guys in another video, man. But we're cranking out one a day for y'all still. Quarantine's like back in full effect, too. I mean, out here in Texas, if you ain't masked up, you ain't going into a store. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, we'll catch y'all tomorrow.